Hi, I'm Coach Rob. In another video, I had mentioned how important having a strength base and having an aerobic engine is to going fast and being able to go fast for a long period of time. In that video, I mentioned that there is an element called cardiac output, aerobic function, that I want to discuss in this video. When you are improving your aerobic engine, when you're improving your cardiac output, what you need to think about is you're literally strengthening the cardiac contraction of the heart. If I were to ask you to think about your strength training on something like your biceps, and in January you can lift 25 pounds and by April you can lift 35 pounds, you'd be looking at your workout notes and going, okay, I was able to increase my strength on my biceps. But how do you measure if your cardiac output is improving? It's very simple. What I like it to have my athletes do is every morning when they wake up, they empty their bladder, lay back down, put their heart rate monitor on, and they evaluate what their resting heart rate is. The reason why we empty the bladder is we want to make sure that we get all the stress off the body. What we will find as an athlete becomes more aerobically fit is that the resting heart rate number will come down, not up. There's a lot of misinformation and a lot of confusion associated with that because they think if I'm fitter, I must be able to sustain a higher level of heart rate. What I want you to think about is when we're looking at cardiac output, think about the heart just like your biceps. It's getting progressively stronger, which means it puts out more millimoles of blood, which is how we evaluate the volume of, of cardiac output in the heart. What's important about that is the more blood that gets pumped, the more oxygen that gets to the working muscles. So I wanted to kind of break down that confusion, like how do I know if I'm getting more cardiovascularly or aerobically fitter? Look at your resting heart rate. Now when we do field testing with our athletes to ascertain their max heart rate, there's not a one-to-one. -one. So what I mean by that is if your resting heart rate goes from a 60 down to a 58, I don't expect your max heart rate to come down by exactly two beats. And with our methodology, we allow a factor margin of error of plus or two, excuse me, plus or minus 2% on either end. But for the sake of this video, I wanted you to understand when you're doing your long, what we call SLD, slow long distance training, or you're working at a low intensity zone, you're enhancing your aerobic engine. You're building that cardiac output. The strength of your heart is going up. And that's a great sign of fitness. When you accompany a better cardiac output with a great level of strength, not only will you be able to go fast, but you'll be able to go fast and sustain it for a longer period of time. Then we tie it into the specificity of your sport, and that's how we build your training programs. If you have any questions about this video, please do me a favor and email us. We'd be happy to, to get you the, whatever answers you're looking for. Reach us at contact at coachrob.com. And as always, I appreciate you watching the video.